Roughly 10 days back, we at TFI had carried a report asking a single question and rather a simple one at that. What does it take to be constituted as a minority in India? While it took some time, it appears that the centre has woken up from its deep slumbers and started to address the issue. Hi and welcome to TFI English, the national socio-political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host Apoorva and in this video, I will tell you how there is a need to rethink the way of determination of minority status in India. So, let's begin. Reportedly, after the Supreme Court pressed the Centre for not taking a stance on the politically sensitive question of identifying minorities at the state level and granting of minority status to Hindus in states where their numbers have fallen below that of other communities, the Union Ministry of Minority Affairs has come up with a statement. In an affidavit filed in the Apex Court, the Ministry noted that state governments can also declare a religious or linguistic community as a minority community within the state. The affidavit further said matters like declaring the followers of Judaism, Baha'ism and Hinduism who are minorities in Ladakh, Mizoram, Lakshwadeep, Kashmir, Nagaland, Meghalaya, Arunachal Pradesh, Punjab and Manipur can establish and administer educational institutions of their choice in the state and laying down guidelines for the identification of minority at state level may be considered by the state government government concerned. The police sought to challenge and keep in check centres power to determine minorities. Centre was responding to a plea submitted by advocate Ashwini Kumar Upadhyay, who has sought directions for framing of guidelines identifying minorities at the state level contending that Hindus are in a minority in 10 states and are not able to avail the benefits of schemes meant for minorities. Upadhyay had also challenged the validity of Section 2F of the National Commission for Minority Education Institution Act 2004, alleging that it gives unbridled power to the centre and termed it manifestly arbitrary, irrational and offending. As reported by TFI earlier, in the aftermath of the Babri Masjid case, Congress played its appeasement politics and brought the National Commission for Minorities Act 1992. To not make it obvious which particular community was being serenaded by Congress, Section 2C of the National Commission for Minorities Act 1992 granted minority status to five communities, Muslims, Christians, Sikhs, Buddhists and Parsis based on their national population. However, the 1992 law did not define the term religious minority. Instead, it was the central government that was empowered to notify a few communities as minority for the purpose of this act. Despite being minority, it is pertinent to note that Hindus are minorities in numerous Indian states. Muslims are a majority in Lakshwadeep, 96.58%, and Kashmir with 96% of population. There is a significant population of the community in Ladakh, West Bengal, Kerala, Uttar Pradesh, and Bihar, along with Assam. Similarly, Christians are clearly a majority in Mizoram, Nagaland, and Meghalaya. There is a significant population of Christians in Arunachal Pradesh, Goa, Kerala, Manipur, Tamil Nadu and West Bengal as well. Yet the entire community across the country is treated as a minority. Those who follow Hinduism, Judaism and Baha'ism are minorities in regions like Ladakh, Mizoram, Lakshwadeep, Kashmir, Nagaland, Meghalaya, Arunachal Pradesh, Punjab and Manipur. However, they cannot establish and administer educational institutions of their choice because of the non-identification of minority at the state level. Thus, jeopardizing their basic rights guaranteed under Article 29 and 30. Up until last year, Lakshwadeep, a Muslim-dominated union territory, had Fridays, the day of Juma, as a holiday instead of the usual Sundays. No one batted an eye. However, the moment the secular government overturned the decision, the minority-majority population of Lakshwadeep started feeling threatened. Granting minority and majority status based on the national population is a lazy and bummed approach. The centre should follow up on its statements made in the affidavit and quickly instruct the state governments to declare Hindus a minority in the states where their numbers have dwindled to alarming levels. Currently, the minority tag is a candy that is distributed to the non-Hindu population by politicians to ensure their proverbial vote banks are filled to the brim. The centre is still hesitant to yield its power completely, but it is a welcome step that it has accepted states have the power to determine the minorities.